Welcome back to the City Current Radio Show. I'm your host, Jeremy Park. We're honored to be with our next guest. We're talking about Memphis Theological Seminary and the Henry Logan Starks Scholarship Endowment and Program. We are joined by Memphis Theological Seminary President Jody Hill and also Diane Love, who is the director of the Henry Logan Starks Scholarship Program. How are you two doing? Doing great, Jeremy. Thank you for having us today. Thanks for having me. Well, you do so much good for the community and not just here in Memphis, but when you look at the ripple effect literally around the world with what you do. Sure. Let's start on your end, um, President Hill. Give us some background for Memphis Theological Seminary. Yeah, Jeremy, thanks. We started the ministry of equipping church leaders back in 1852. If you go all the way back to our roots, connected with Bethel University. But in the 60s, in the mid-60s, a move began afoot to... uh, moved to a more urban setting, and ultimately it was determined that Memphis was the place to be. And there were two primary objectives with that move to become more ecumenical, meaning a more diverse student population from various denominations, but also more diverse in embracing all of the cultures of the city, all the ethnic groups. And uh, that was really what those visionaries saw as, hey, this is who the church is. We're a melting pot of God's people, so why not we be a place of education that is reflective of that church? So we continue that ministry, that diversity, even today, Jeremy. We have about 200 students, and of those, some 25 different denominations in the Christian church are represented. 57% of our student body is African American. Uh, We have rural students serving. I like to say we may have a country preacher serving a three-point charge in the United Methodist Church in North Mississippi, sitting in a classroom with a lady who's doing gang ministry here in Memphis. So we learn from each other and grow together. We think that's something special, Jeremy, that we have at MTS in this world where we see increasing division and disagreement and even arguing. We're a place where we believe people can dialogue without arguing and growing in the love of Christ at the same time. Yeah, and I feel yeah. like when you talk about the work that you've been doing for so long, the diversity focus is a huge piece of that. And like I said, you've been doing this for a long, long time. This isn't something that's new in terms of just popping up. And so the diversity, not only in the skin colors, but like you said, the faith, the backgrounds, sure. the, the walk in faith and where they're going next in terms of the impact they're trying to make. Talk about where you are physically located and then talk about just kind of the programs overall. Yeah, great. Okay, I'll talk about that, and then I'll segue into Diane in a moment talking about the Starks event, but uh, physically located, we are at 168 East Parkway and Union, right here on what was at one time uh, the outer limits of the city of Memphis. That's why it was East Parkway. It was as far east as you could fathom going in the city, and we were in the country when this this beautiful mansion was built in, built by Joseph Newberger, who was a cotton merchant at the time in the early 1900s. Um, we have four facilities right here in addition to Founders Hall and several housing units for our students and that we rent some of those too when students aren't in those. So we're right in the middle of the heart of Memphis. Um, part of our ministry too Jeremy, is we say in our mission statement that the mission of Memphis Theological Seminary is to educate and sustain men and women for ordain and lay Christian ministry in the church and the world by framing them using scholarship, our mind, piety, our heart, justice, using our hands, and uh, embracing that call to serve this city and be served by the churches as we work together to remember that we're in this together. Ultimately, we equip leaders for the church who are going to serve the church. So we like to say, ultimately, we serve the church in the larger city of Memphis in the Mid-South. Let's go ahead and switch over on your end, Diane. Talk about Henry Logan Starks first. Explain him and and, and kind of the legacy there. And then we'll talk about the the scholarship and the endowment and the program coming up. So talk about Henry Logan Starks. Okay, Dr. Starks was, you know, uh, um, Jody just told you that that the the theological seminary moved to Memphis. But when it moved, Dr. Starks was actually one of six African-American students who enrolled. 
Yeah. And then he enrolled, of course, he got his degree. And then he became the first African-American professor at the seminary. And uh, of course, his his uh, community work is a legend. He he marched Dr. Martin Luther King during the sanitation strike. Uh, we I think we had that on the front of the program last year, the program mm -hmm. booklet last year. So he has done so much and we wanted to extend his legacy. And since 1986, in its current form, we have held this dinner. And this dinner, uh, the proceeds, the fundraising uh, has, has been specifically to fund African-American students who want to pursue degrees at the seminary. This year, we are not holding a dinner you know, due to the pandemic. You, I think you went over that, that feel at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So this year is a virtual event. It's a, a, a virtual event that will be on the Zoom platform it's a it's a free event, but you need to register to um, to to attend. You need to register to to have access to the platform. Now we are still asking uh, those people who who donated last year and who uh, were sponsors last year. We've sent letters out to them. We're still asking them to donate, even though it's a virtual event. We're asking them to donate, and and I I like to say to our sponsors out there those people who, those companies and people who are going to uh, donate who have not done so yet, we would like to uh, at least have your uh, contribution by the 5th of February because we're creating a sponsor wall during that virtual event. And let me tell you a little bit about the event itself, this virtual event that we are going to do. Uh, this year, we, we have a webinar, Dr. Diana Dickerson, uh, is going to do a, a short webinar talking about the legacy of Dr. Starks. Then we're going to have a uh, sponsor and student testimonials, short testimonials. Of course, we've got to always honor our, our honorees for uh, the, their service to the community. So this year we have um, the President's Humanitarian Award. And I want to say this. Uh, it's going to go to Reverend uh, Dr. James Netters, and that's the posthumous award. You know, Dr. Netters died in, uh, he died in, in December. So we want to, to honor uh, his work in the community. And then, of course, he was one of the first, uh, he, was, he was there when they were planning the dinner. So, you know, he's one of our original planners of the dinner and, and sponsor of the dinner. And our Legacy Award this year will go to uh, Mark Stansberry. Our Distinguished Service Award will go to Dr. Peter and uh, Kathleen Gacky. Outstanding Alumnus Award, Reverend uh, Stephen Allen Miller. And our Outstanding Alumni Award, which goes to a female, will go to Reverend Mary E. Moore this year. So those are our honorees uh, this year. And so we're gonna have that. And then of course, intermingle with all of that honorees, honoring our, our, our uh, people in the community, honoring our students, honoring our sponsors. We're gonna have some music, uh, some thought provoking music, not just any music, some thought provoking music in there. And so that's what our virtual uh, event is going to look like. I think it's gonna be exciting. You know, I was watching the um, civil rights um, uh, Martin Luther King celebration and thinking about it just really uh, uh, hyped me up for what we're going to do for starts. And as you mentioned, you want everybody to go ahead and register. And let me online. say, yes, I want them to register online. You go to the MTS website, uh, you click on giving, select uh, the Henry Logan Starts uh, site, and there's a donate and a sponsor link. So you can do either one and you can pay online. So you don't have to uh, come and buy a ticket or any of that. You can you can pay online. And I want to say a little bit about, uh, I want to tell the audience, the listening audience, that our theme for this year is reimagining the story, a season of change. I think that's self-explanatory. You know, we, we have gone through so much this year with the pandemic, with all of the things that have gone on. And so we want to kind of reimagine the story and uh, in this season of change and, and do something different. Uh, and we are asking that our sponsors and our donors help us do that. And we really, I want to say something that, that, that uh, has resonated with uh, Jody. Jody uh, has always reminded me to say that 
every cent that we raise this year will go to scholarships, student scholarships, because we have a presenting sponsor this year. So we don't have to spend any money on expenses. So every dime will go into student scholarships. And we are so proud of that. We thank our presenting sponsor and um, you know we can't say enough, uh, enough about her. Uh, this year, I don't know what she wants us to besides her name. So she, she remains that, anonymous. I, uh, I just yeah. think that. You want a name drop? But once again, that yeah, is she's spotted. Yeah. Uh, February 25th, 7.30 to 8.45 p.m. And the website, memphisseminary.edu is the website. Talk about it, President Hill, on your end in terms yeah. of yes. the importance of this to underwrite the, the scholarships to create this ripple effect, not only in our community, but as I mentioned, when you look at your graduates, they're working around the world to create sure. change. So share a little bit of just from your perspective, the importance of this event in terms of fundraising to, to lift these scholarship opportunities. Mm, yes, yeah, great question, Jeremy. I had the pleasure of serving on our board of trustees back from in 2008 through 2014 with uh, Miss Ruby Wharton, who was the first lady of the city of Memphis at the time. I'll never forget Miss Wharton saying to me once, Jody, the hope for Memphis and our community is the church or people of faith working together. And you know, that's coming from a person who spent her life in, in the legal profession, but certainly directly in the political realm too. So we really believe that the work we do in equipping these leaders is what's gonna create more love and break down the barriers of separation in our world. Uh, we have people like Kirk Whalem, Grammy award-winning artist who is a product of Memphis Theological Seminary. Todd Richardson, the brainchild of the uh, concourse. You know, Todd had said, if there wasn't an MTS, or I'd not attended that seminary, there would be no concourse today. Uh, we have chaplains at world-class St. Jude. So even beyond the sanctuary, we're impacting this community and the world around us for good. Now, what you mentioned, Jeremy, and you asked, why is it important that we have a strong scholarship? Through the gracious support of our donors, you know, the overall cost to educate one minister or one student here at the seminary is about $20,000 a year. But through the gracious support of our donors, we only charge our students less than half that amount, less than $10,000 amount. But fortunately, many of our students come from denominational backgrounds, as I did, uh, who provide another 50% of their tuition discounted uh, in the United Methodist Church, the Presbyterian, others. But so a significant number of our African-American students do not have that denominational support. So that's why when I embody, uh, when I mentioned the mission statement earlier that we embody not only a commitment to educate, but to sustain, to support our students financially, to get in the trenches. You know, our goal, I always set short-term yeah, yeah. goals and long-term goals. And uh, as Diane said, we have all of our costs covered this year. We, we hope to net, uh, well, we hope to net as much as we can, you know, some, somewhere between twenty-five dollars to $50,000. And, and my dream, Jeremy, if we could get those scholarships up another $50,000 or so a year, we could make a significant impact by equipping and sustaining our African-American students who are in the trenches trying to pay their own and they're gonna to continue to pay their part, but we wanna give as much support as we can too. So all of these funds go directly to those students, none to the seminary operationally. Yeah, touch on to, I think that, uh, I think it's important to know is you also are, are really forward thinking in the idea of bringing in things like how do you battle alcoholism and drug addiction? And so you're, you're really forward thinking and taking a holistic approach to what you're doing. Talk a little bit about that side of this as well, the integration on different factors and struggles that people face. Yeah, thank you for mentioning that uh, because so much of what we deal with, it, if it's a spiritual matter or a, an emotional or a mental matter, uh, we have had courses offer certificate programs on substance abuse, but also on, on therapy. You know, I was visiting with a person recently who said, you know, I don't know if it's so much COVID or the physical health challenges I've experienced lately, but I'm really going through a dark place. And that's so common, right? That we're experiencing in our nation and in this time. So we wanna keep, equip those who will journey with people, be good counselors and be, uh, as you mentioned, substance abuse uh, sojourners to 
to help them into a brighter day out of the darkness and into the light. Yeah, and I think yeah. it's important to know that you're kind of, you know, fighting in a good way yeah. on all these different sides to be able to really provide um, healing and hope and opportunities for, for not just our community, but like I said, kind sure. of global context. So wrap up once again with uh, the 34th annual Henry Logan Stark Scholarship Campaign. The event once again, February 25th, 7.30 p.m. Go online and once again, go ahead and mention website, social media, phone number. Where would we direct everyone to? Yeah, let me mention that again and we'll make it even simpler. You know, it's hard to remember sometimes that memphisseminary.edu. If a person just wants to go to Google, just type in Memphis Theological Seminary, donate. And then you'll be, you'll see that link to go and access. Diane, do you have another number that you want to share? Yours, perhaps? They can call my cell, which is 901-299-2426. My uh, direct number is 901-334-5810. I never call myself, Jeremy. I can't remember my phone number. <laughs> We're all guilty of charge. So I, I have the same issue. Well, President yes, Hill, Diane, thank yes. you for all you do. You and your amazing team, we greatly Absolutely. appreciate it. Thank you for being a part of the show. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank, thank you. you for the good work you do, thank sir. You